Hello guys, in this video, we are going to deal with a problem statement that is how to find minimum and maximum value in an array. This problem can be solved using three approaches and I will be explaining them in three different languages Python, C++ and Java. We will be discussing the approach one in this video. Without any further delay, let's see the solution. I will be doing the first solution in Python. Let's create a Python file. You can name it anything. I'm naming it as minmax in array. So I will be explaining about the problem statement first guys. Let's take an example. 3, 2, 9, 1, 4. We have to find the minimum value and maximum value in this array. So the minimum value according to me, we can see it 1. And the maximum value is 9. So this should be the expected output and this is the input. The first approach is simple and very straightforward guys. It is, we'll be using the sort function in Python. It is the built-in function in Python. In the first approach, we'll be using the sort function and we'll sort the array. This is the first step. And there are two types in sorting, ascending and descending. If we use the default sort function, like sort in this way, we'll be getting the output in ascending order. And if we use the parameters such as reverse equal to true in this way, we'll be getting descending order. I'm just mentioning it uh, because we'll, you will not be confused in later uh, solution part. Now let's create a function. I'm naming it as method1 underscore sorting. So we need to take input for this function, that is the array. Or the list. The first part is to sort the array, right? So sort the array. This is a syntax to sort this array. This will be sorting it in ascending order. Now we have to return the minimum value and maximum value from this sorted array. Let's return them return the minimum value will be there in the first position of the array after sorting in the ascending order it will be in this form according to our example 1 2 3 4 9 this will be the output for ascending order the minimum value is 1 and the maximum value is 9 so the minimum value is in 0 index and the maximum value is in 4th index. Let's return them. Array of 0 and array of 4. We can even return it as the lost element. So we can use minus 1 also. That's it for the function. Let's call it from our main function. Let's create. Let's take the input in this main.
taking inputs from user. I will be using list, map and split functions here. So while giving input, we have to view, we have to separate the elements with comma. After separating them with comma, it will split the elements according to the split function I have used using comma and it will convert the strings into int using map function and then convert the map into list. Now let us call the function and send our input data. Let's try to run it. Before that, we have to print the output, right? We shouldn't forget that. So the first value will be the minimum value and the last value will be the maximum. Now let's run this file. Taking inputs from user. Let's take the same inputs 3, 2, 4, 1, 9. So output is 1, 9. First value is the minimum value and last value is the maximum value, second value. If we want to use the same function but if we want to do it in descending order, you can just want to change the one parameter. Reverse equal to true in the sort function. But you also have to return the correct values here. The last value will be the minimum value and the first value will be the maximum value. So you have to return minus 1 index first and then 0 index next. Let's save it and run it again. Let's give the same inputs again. 3, comma, 2, comma, 4, comma, 1, comma, 9. We got the same output. So this is a solution in Python. Let's check in C. I'm creating a file in CPP now. I have a folder here. I'm naming it in the same order. CPP. After creating a file, I'll be importing the required libraries here. using namespace std creating a class in max in array and let's call this class from the main function let's create a main function here outside this class and let's take the inputs from here uh, I'm creating a temporary variable to take uh, the inputs one by one and storing them in the vector. Before creating vector, we have to import it. Uh, we shouldn't forget it. So let's import it. We have imported. Then let's take input from user. Taking inputs from user. Using a while loop, let's check the inputs. See in A. Let's append them to the vector I have created. This while loop will run until we give backslash n. 
before creating this object for this class uh, let's create the function let's create a public function in this function let's uh, do just printing the minimum and maximum values instead of returning so I'm giving it as void return type I'm naming it as the same function name as in Python and the input for this function is vector integer vector as in Python we also have the building function in here C++ also let's use it sort array dot begin comma array dot end this is the way we sort the array in this CPP so it is being sorted in ascending order by default let's print the minimum and maximum value here so index 1 will be minimum value and lost index will be maximum value we do not have negative indices in C++ so I gonna use size function here and it is not the size we have to find the index we have to give it in the index form so I'm giving it as minus 1 as we are accessing the lost element so we are printing minimum value space and maximum value here let's call this class let's create an object for this class in main function copy the class name paste it create a variable that's it we can do to create the object and then see out let's print uh, approach one result so let's call this function we have to send the array that is the vector and the main function should return mandatorily any int value so I'm returning 0 here let's save it let's run this file taking inputs from the user I have to give it one by one so let's take 3 2 1 4 9 and to end this process I have to give slash n the output is approach 1 results 1 9 the minimum value is 1 and the maximum value is 9 so we have successfully completed the program in C++ also solve this program now let's check in Java I'm creating a Java program here naming it in the same way dot java by default it created the class for me okay now let's create a main function here public static void main this is the beauty of this vs code it will give suggestions as in the C++ let's take the input in the same way creating the temporary variable here and there is no vectors in Java so I'm using array list integer type 
array equal to we have to give new and then array list before using this array list we have to import it we shouldn't forget the imports let's import the required packages java dot util dot array list and we also need the scanner to take the input right so we import it from java dot util dot scanner and we will be using the sort function right it will be in the collections library we will also import it java dot util dot collections done let's take the input now let's create a scanner input reader scanner system dot in let's take the input from the user taking inputs from the user assign it to a input reader dot next int because we are taking the integer values as an input let's take the stop value as zero whenever we give zero it will stop the taking inputs from the user let's append it to our array list now in this class let's create the required sorting function while let us print the minimum and maximum value in this function itself method one sorting array list is the input for this function of integer type array As we imported the collections already, we can use the sort function from it. Collections dot sort. We have to give the array. It will sort it in the ascending order, as usual by default. Let's print the minimum and maximum value now. As it is an array list, we have to access the values using get function, get method. Zero index value is for oh. zero index value is for uh, getting minimum value. As there is no index negative indexing in Java, also I'm using the size function. Yeah. Now let's call this. Let's create an object for this class and call that function in the main. Copy the class name. Create a variable new class name let's call that function it's already taken the input array let's print as it is 
approach one results let's run this file taking inputs from the user so I have to take a uh, one by one let's take three two one four nine and I have to queue zero to stop this process so I'm giving zero zero is not considered into the input so output is 1 and 9 so the minimum value is 1 and the maximum value is 9 that's it uh, we have implemented the solution in java also i have shown the python cpp and java solutions and explained them in approach 1 so i will be explaining the approach 2 and approach 3 in other videos please be check them if you understand the video please subscribe and check the other videos in the channel.